know, millions of people have become infected with COVID. It, so out of curiosity, do these numbers add to herd immunity or do these individuals still need to get vaccinated? Okay, so that's a great question and a very important question. Thank you. Um, and the fact of the matter is natural disease does provide some protection, but we think the protection only lasts for a few months. Whereas the vaccine uh, potency and durability is much, much stronger than with natural disease. That's not true for a lot of natural diseases. For example, when you get hepatitis A, you're immune for life. Um, and people that get natural chicken pox, typically you're immune for life. But people that get COVID can get COVID again. And now with these variant strains, particularly some of the variants, you're very high risk to go get COVID again. The vaccine protects even against most of the variants, the vaccines have some decent activity. The boosters are gonna be even better. But just because you have natural disease does not mean that you shouldn't get COVID vaccine. So the recommendations from the CDC um, are that if you do get um, natural disease and you have not been vaccinated, that you cannot start getting your vaccine until your isolation period is up. So that would be 10 days after you got sick if you had mild disease or 20 days if you had severe disease. And then you have up to three months because that's how long we think the immunity lasts from natural disease. But we want everybody to try to get their vaccine completed within three months of when they get natural disease to really give them good, durable, and uh, significant protection. Thanks, appreciate the response.